If you're new to the Eddy printer or have asked for help with a printing problem, you've probably been directed to look at the Print Hub or the Eddy Config Tool as we know it on the Mac. The Eddy Config Tool is where you'll find things like the cookie centering scan, horizontal or vertical offsets, and top of cookie offset, which will help you with overspray. You can also find out how much it costs to print each cookie as well as how much ink you have left. So stay with me to the end and I'll even show you how to have easy access to your Eddy config tool. Before we jump into the software, I thought we would step back to the Primera website and remind you of how you found the software in the first place. That first time you unbox your computer, your new printer, you're downloading things, you're not sure what you're downloading. So I thought we'll just take a deep breath, go in and check it out. So I'm on this main page and I'm gonna click into customer support and choose current products. And then I'll scroll down and find good old Eddie. There he is, I'll click on that. And now you'll see that there is all kinds of inf great information here. One, there's software for PC, which is not what we're looking for. We're looking for software for Mac. I'm not gonna click on that right now because I want you to see what you're getting when you click on that. Also notice there is a user's manual. And if you have not downloaded this, I highly recommend that you do. I actually save my user's manual in my Apple Books software, and then I always know where it is. I never have to look for it. I can highlight things. So it's a wonderful thing. Um, maybe I'll make another video about that. The other thing you can do is get training. And if you have not done your one-on-one -on -one training with Eddie, um, for Eddie with the, the folks at Primera, Primera, I highly recommend that you do. I had watched all the videos before and I thought, and I'm pretty tech savvy, but I thought, you know what, I'm still going to do this because then I can ask my individual questions. So if you have not scheduled that training, I highly recommend that you do. Now scrolling on down to the Mac software, you'll see that there is a Eddie full installer. And what that's going to do is it's going to download the installer for the printer drivers for your printer. So just like you have any other printer that you print to at home, you've installed software, whether it was an Epson or an HP, you have software that tells Eddie about connecting to the Mac. So when you download that, you're gonna install it and it's gonna have two things. It's gonna have our Eddie config, and it's also going to check your printer, if it's connected, to see if you have the right firmware for your Eddy printer. And so your firmware, if you're not really sure what firmware is, is that is te the technology and the software that lives on the printer itself. So sometimes even that needs to be updated. Not very often, but every once in a while it does. And so it needs to be, your computer needs to be directly connected to the Eddy and it will update that firmware if needed. The other software that you have here are some options of how you create the content that you want to print to Eddy. So um, the number one option is Swift Publisher. It does cost about $20 um, and I have been using it and really like it. All right, so that's that's your software. And this will tell you that like the last time it was updated was just this year um, on 5.3.23. So if you've not updated, you might wanna think about that. And it is compatible through OS 13 Ventura. Usually I will wait um, and check with Primera before I update my uh, computer OS, which will be coming out like in October of this year. So um, you just want to make sure that this stays compatible before you update. Now that we know where the software comes from, let's go find it on our Mac. 
For this, I'm going to go up to the Apple menu and pull down to System Settings. When this window opens, it may look different than yours. Apple went through a major redesign of how the system settings look like, um, and that started with OS Mac OS 13. So if you're running something um, older than that, then you probably have a more rectangular system window, and um, it is arranged just a little bit differently. If you're listening to this and you go, I have no idea even what operating system I'm running, well, let me show you how to do that as well, because knowledge is power. And I want you guys to know about your computer so that you're making confident decisions. So I'm going to go back up to the Apple menu and I am going to click on it and pull down to about this Mac. And here is where I'll find out what kind of computer I have, how much memory it has, and what operating system I'm running. And the current operating system, as of the date I'm doing this recording, is Ventura 13.4.1. Uh, about October, September, October, we'll be hearing about the next operating system that's going to come out. And it will have some California name, and it will be Mac OS 14. So I am running Ventura, which is also known as Mac OS 13. I'm going to close that window. Um, working in our system window, I want you to look for printers and scanners. Printers and scanners. And when you find printers and scanners, then you're going to come up and look for your Eddy printer that's already installed. You've already run the software installer, and here it is. Mine is called PTI Cookie or PTI Color Cookie. Now, this is several clicks to get to where we want to go. So, watch what I'm doing and then maybe pause and then find it for yourself. So, I'm going to click on PTI Color Cookie. And this is where you'll see the printer queue. This is another thing that you'll want to know at some point when you've accidentally printed 10 cookies and you really only wanted one and you need to delete the queue, this is where you would go. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go to Options and Supplies. When I click on Options and Supplies, I got some information here. I see the latest driver for my Eddy, but I'll, there's another place we'll see that as well. I am going to click on this very last tab called Utility, and then Open Printer Utility. The Eddy Config has four different areas that you can go and either gather information or change some settings. So I'm going to start with this last uh, little tab here, and it's called the Settings tab. If I click on that, then it will tell me what my current version is, what the software version is, and what my current firmware is. So this is talks about what's on the Eddy printer itself. And then this talks about the software that we're looking at right now, which is this Eddy config. Another thing that I have it do is check for updates every so often. You can decide how often you wanna do that. Um, and I have chosen not to look at beta updates. I'm, I want to wait until they know it's great. Uh, I'm not one because usually I'm working on an order for a customer and I don't want things to go wrong. So, um, so betas are great for some people, but for me, I'm going to stay away from those. Okay. So this was that bottom settings tab. Now I'm going to go back up to the top. So we're up at the status tab. So this is just going to say, okay, I'm ready. And if it's not plugged in, I'll unplug mine. And it will tell you printer offline and you're not going to see much of anything. So I'm going to plug it back in and it will quickly go right back and give me all of my information. There it is. It's ready. You can see I've got a pretty new cartridge installed. 
I've only printed 122 cookies since I got my cartridge. I don't do a whole lot of big orders. The other thing is you'll see, oh, that's already at 90%. Well, pretty much after the first few cookies that you print, it will go to 90%. I believe that Eddie exaggerates how much of his ink cartridge has been used. And so um, mine actually said it was empty or at 10% or 0% for a really long time. Um, I, I printed well over a thousand cookies and many other people will tell you they printed thousands of cookies on one cartridge. Lesson to though, you know, word to the wise is always have that next ink cartridge at hand ready to go. Um, and you can order your supplies right here. Uh, by clicking on this uh, button. You'll also see that I have a cost per cookie calculation going on here based on the cost of the cartridge that I put in. I think I rounded it up to $130. And, and now it's telling me, well, based on the last cookie design that you printed, which costs you almost eight cents a cookie, you still have almost, you have 1,400 cookies you can continue continue to print. If you are not seeing this, it could mean that you are not running the latest Eddy config, and you might want to update. The cartridge tab is the very next one uh, of the tabs, and you'll want to use this when you change your ink cartridge, and if you need to clean your ink cartridge. Sometimes things happen, and our cookies bump into the print cartridge, and Things get, you know, frosting goes everywhere. Um, and so this might be a place where you need to come and clean your cartridge and then it'll step by step walk you through that. And then this next tab is the alignment tab. And this is the one where you'll hear a lot of people talk about, oh, my offsets or how do I, you know, how do I deal with overspray or my cookies aren't centered. Offsets, think of your cookie as up and down and left and right. That's what these offsets are talking about. Someone posted a picture just very recently of a round cookie and the artwork was very clearly not in the center of the cookie like they wanted. And so it could be that there are some settings that need to be adjusted, either their horizontal offsets or their vertical offsets. And there are some tools that you can use to make sure that Eddie knows what center is for your printer. Now let's take a look at the advanced tab. You can make a lot of fine tuning choices here. The cookie centering scan is something that should be unchecked if you are using any third party tray from the royal icing tray to the Milton tray to sassy trays and brown bag. All of those, the recommendation is to uncheck this. The next thing is scan large print area. I, after researching for just this video, I'm going to start leaving this checked and it will slow down the process of scanning a cookie. So this has to do with not just scan, scanning the center of the cookie, but also scanning it multiple times. So if you're doing, for example, using the Milton tray with the four objects on it, there's actually nothing in the middle where Eddie usually scans across to see how tall the cookie is. So I'm gonna leave this checked from now on and see if I get different results with that. I go ahead and leave that initialized carousel on power reset just in case it just needs to shake something out. Basically, it means that when it powers on, it's going to rotate the carousel and get it into a good starting position. I also have enable half speed printing checked. I'm not usually in a huge hurry. I find that my pictures are, especially if I'm printing photos, that's they're a little bit sharper. Um, and it just slows the printing process down a little bit more. So those things you can just check and uncheck on the fly. The next set have to do, after you change them, you have to click the set button. So the feed speed and the reverse speed, these have to do with the actual scanning of the cookie. So this has nothing to do with how fast it moves 
from one cookie to the next or how fast the print head moves. This has to do with the scanning of the cookie. So I think I've reduced those speeds. Um, you can play around with those and see if you get different results. Top of cookie lift offset. This was a challenge to wrap my brain around just for a little bit because this has to do with, you'll hear people talk about overspray. And that's how close the top of the cookie or the print head is to the top of the cookie. And the print head really only moves back and forth, left to right. It does not move up and down. What does move up and down is the base, what the cookie sits on. And so you're, you're basically moving it up or down to get closer to the print head to reduce the overspray of cookies uh, onto the cookie. Uh, those are going to be your big ones. Then the other one that you might want to check out is down here at the bottom if you're using the carousel and maybe you're using the large sassy trays. You know you have to skip every other uh, place because only six will fit on there. So you can turn this on to only print six cookies and it will know to skip every other one. So I hope that was a little bit clearer. And when you hear things like offset and horizontal and vertical offset, because those are over in the offsets tab. And then lastly, for those of you who have updated your uh, Eddy config, you can go in and manipulate those blue and green flashing lights. I've turned a lot of mine off just because I found it very confusing. Now I just have the blue lights on, and if they start a flashing a lot, that tells me something is wrong. So again, these are things that you can go in and change. The last tip I have for you is how do you gain quicker access to the Eddy config and not have to go through all of those steps of the Apple menu, to the printers and scanners, etc. So what I've done is while the Eddy config is open, I come down to my dock down here across the bottom. And right now the Eddy config shows up in my dock as looks like an application. So what I did is I two finger clicked on it. So with two fingers on my trackpad, click, and then I'm gonna go up to options and I'm going to select to keep this in the dock. So even when this is closed, and I close this window, and I put all of this away, and done, and my system preference settings alone, and they go away, if I come back to my dock, it's still here, and I can click on it and access it. That's all for this episode of Printing Cookies Using a Mac with A Modern Girl Makes. Please leave a comment below with other topics you want to explore. We'll see you next time.